do 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 I think we're done here. Yeah, it is your fault. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna let you die. Man, she's a dick. I still think Ethan saying, oh, she's no use to anyone is like a pretty dick thing to say too. It is, but it's like, he doesn't know she's a secret agent. Yeah, It's her I mean, fault. Where are you? I mean, I can understand not one. <laughs> really? Wow. Why is this just sitting here? You know what? Fine, I'll take it. Wow. Is it loaded? No, it's got one. No. One in the chamber. So why Ethan? I don't know. Like, why did she marry Ethan? <laughs> why... Okay, why did she marry Ethan? Why is... Yeah, why... <laughs> like, why is Mia married to Ethan? Oh, Ethan. Who is Ethan? <laughs> Ethan is not a character. He's a he's a blank slate that the player can easily insert himself into or herself. No, into. no, I don't think so. You know why? He has a definitive gender. He has a definitive race. He has everything but a definitive face. He has a hair color. Like you see, ninety-eight percent of his body, except for the face. Hell, even. Thinking about it, right? Uh -huh. At the end of this tape. No, not the end of this tape. At the end of the Mia section. We get right? to see part of his face, yeah. Yeah. You see everything but his eyes. So what the fuck's the point? <laughs> Just have him be a character. It's, not, it's like they wanted to do halfway. Like, like it's they, like fucking... They want to do halfway with, uh, with uh, Gordon Freeman. Like... We, we can't have him be a complete non-character, but at the same time, you know, we... Dude, Gordon Freeman has a face! Yeah! <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? What? Fucking hentai games, dude. Like how the protagonist <laughs> is always a black-haired male that you see, like... You know, you gotta have the character in the scenes where he's boning the chick, but they, like, blur out the eyes. Yeah. It's see? always, like... Silhouetted over the eyes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Maybe Capcom was just playing some. <laughs> oh fuck. Maybe, Maybe they were just playing H games around the office and they're like, you know what? This is something acceptable. That's our main <laughs> character now. <laughs> we'll use this guy, it's cool. Nope. No, nothing there. Okay, okay, but. Okay, so Dean. Yeah. So even putting the fact, putting aside the fact that, you know, Mia, fucking double O Mia, married Ethan Winterberry. <laughs> <laughs> right. Why does Eve give a fuck? Because... Because... <clears throat> I, I have no... I'm convinced. You got me. <laughs> Uh, let's, let's, I mean, let's think about this. I mean, Mia likes him. She has some attachment to him. So, I guess that in... I guess Mia, she was like, well, I got a mommy, so now I need a daddy. Really? That's, that's the only thing I, I figure. She's like, I can't, I can't ship Mia and Jack. Jack's <laughs> already married. And I don't like Marguerite. She's not my real mommy. So we gotta... So then she had to, like... She had to use Mia to somehow friggin' get Ethan! Again, this, <laughs> this really does add, ask a lot more questions than I should be thinking about here. <laughs> like, what Look, is her... I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but choosing Zoe was apparently such a fucking terrible decision that it 
It assassinated my suspension of disbelief. <laughs> it also assassinated Zoe, so... <laughs> it did. This is also correct. All she wanted to do was get out, and it's just like, oh, right, carrying her, that didn't do much for her at all. No, Evie. Okay, so if what she wants is Eve... If, if what Eve wants is for Mia to be her mom, right? Mm -hmm. And then decides that, uh, fucking... Ethan needs to be the dad. Who are the bakers? Uh, just more people, I guess. Like, why are, Why did she even rope them into this? I, <laughs> I just want to blame, that's like a function of her biological weapon programming. She's just, they just coded into her the idea that she needs to enslave as much people as possible. Which, again, seems like a horrible design choice for a bioweapon. But, you know, I'm not the one developing it. It's it's Umbrella 2.0 or whoever the fuck you know, the maybe it's are. Lucas's fault. Huh? I mean, he apparently got infected, but wasn't. And he apparently read the script. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so who's Alan? Uh, Alan? the other agent they sent. Alan, where the hell are you? Really, that's all I got. The, he's another guy they sent in to do something, and he sucked at his job. I mean, fair enough. <laughs> the, the Umbrella Corporation or whoever has the history of hiring no names to just, you know, take a bullet or a viral infection when they need to. So, I, I don't expect them to explain Alan's presence other than he's just a guy. I don't know, this is, it, he seems pretty fucking incompetent. <laughs> also, I don't know if we talked about this, like, oh. you know, when this particular video sequence came about. Mm-hmm. But even more than the last video sequence is Mia, and the one is, uh, what was that guy's name? Charisse? Uh... Clarice? Clarice? Clarence? Chavez? <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, right? No, I don't, actually. The fucking camera guy. Oh, 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 oh. Not Jarvis. <laughs> Why am I thinking Jarvis? I'm pretty sure Clancy! Clancy! Clancy. <laughs> Tom Clancy. Okay. When Clancy was, you know, prancing about in the puzzle room, and it's like, what, who, who's fucking, who's recording this, you know? Yeah. What camera is currently using this videotape? I ask that of this exact situation How right now. He... <laughs> you know what would have been no, cool, Evie. right? Evie. Ellen, I didn't call you that. She's trying to take fucking... control. You have to fight her. Because I assume Lucas set up videotapes so that he could watch whoever was in his friggin' little prison zone, right? His little social experiment, bro. Yeah. So, what if for that part, it abandoned the first person part, and you were now playing in third person, fixed cameras, like it was classic Resident Evil? You know what? That would be cool. <laughs> the, the DLC for uh, Resident Evil 5 actually did that. Yeah, it did. That, that one I actually it, liked. That was well, a good touch. Well, first half, anyways. <laughs> yeah, you had the one where you played Jill and Chris yeah. in the mansion. Yeah, yeah, and that, that did it third person. That, I like that. No. No? No. No. That was still over the shoulder cam, but you could, uh... There was something like if you turn around and mess with the door three times or some shit like that, uh -huh. then it would do the third person fixed camera thing. Uh, so that wasn't even... <laughs> also, I caused a time paradox. I didn't record my message. Wow. Okay. Okay, so...
falling into the water here. Again, one camera is recording this. See? And how does it still function? <laughs> it's a very good question. Like, And like, why did it just fall yeah. off of her? See, if, I'm all, if, I, if I had to make an educated guess, it's probably a camera rig, like, like an alien's. She's got a fucking, like, head thing strapped on. That's really, like, the only way I could see that. It, it's, and, you know... But you see her reflection when she does the videotape Tape. that you didn't do. <laughs> oh, and she doesn't have anything, she that's right. She doesn't have anything on her. So, either it's a very, very tiny <laughs> camera, or... <laughs> You, they just needed an excuse to play her flashback, and they didn't really think about that. Because I, I, I kind of feel like I kind of feel like we're uncovering a lot of they didn't really think about that. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? I mean, here's the thing with this, right? Yeah, the gameplay of this game is so good. It's it's pretty good, right? Yeah, it's good enough to the point that. We're not just sitting here picking apart the friggin' story the whole time. Nah. It's not like The Evil Within, where it's like, well, the game isn't entertaining me, so I have to entertain myself by pointing out how dumb the story is. <laughs> and we have to worry about constant... The story character. is still real convenient. It's, it's real fucking contrived, you know? Yeah. Everything in the story exists just to move things along. And it's getting even doubly contrived here, because it's like, what dragged me over to the boat? She was at the docks! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It didn't, exactly. didn't make... Can we be a family like before? In fact, I don't think I would have noticed how contrived it was we never a family. We will if never it be weren't for shit family. like that. Yeah. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bray Wyatt. Uh, here I put that as the thumbnail for one of the friggin' things. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, one of our, our watchers that, like, you know, I just hit up sometimes on Twitter, or, like, we'll just, like, exchange jokes, was like, I've never wanted to punch someone more than that thumbnail. <laughs> I don't know, dude. It's like... Was that supposed to be scary? <laughs> At most, that was annoying. At worst, that was hilarious. She ain't no... She ain't no Alma, that's for sure. No. I, <laughs> no, definitely not. Like, Alma from Fear was dude. this terrifying presence <sighs> that was constantly stalking you. It was also real fucking subtle at times. Yeah. To the point that sometimes you wouldn't even notice that you saw her. But your brain, brain did. did. <laughs> but here, she's just up in your face and showing she's those just, yeah. awful teeth. And... <laughs> Dude, like, why was it like... I... I'm so mad about that reaction. It's like... So you've built up this whole time being like, I want you to be my mom and we're going to be a family and everything's going to be great. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get your husband and it'll be fantastic. We'll, we'll be a real family. And then Mia's like, no, we were never a family. Fuck you. And her reaction is, well then, Mr. Bond. You must die. <laughs> it's, why isn't it like a child would react? I realize, you know, can we say it's spoilers? I mean, we've already been through that part. Yeah, no, we've already been through that. Yeah. She's a grandma now. But she's, you know, if you want to play the idea that, like, she has the mind of a child still. And this, this child is how she views herself in the world and all that, right? Right. Then, why doesn't she behave like a child? She behaves how, like, Hollywood why, thinks children behave. 
They have, they have a very bad track record with figuring out how children behave in 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 media in general. Dude, like, <laughs> okay, it it could have totally been a thing, right? If instead of that happening, like, if you want her to be angry and menacing and all that, imagine how much more sense this whole segment would make, right? Mm-hmm. If instead of her being like, ha 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 ha, and disappearing for some reason, Are right? Supposed to jump down here. You gotta take the ladder up, I think. Yeah, you know, I, I got the jack. I gotta get to that door, but can I get down that way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just jump. Okay. <laughs> Forgot that that was... Yeah, you're all good. Right. All right. But, uh... Yeah, instead of being all... <laughs> she was like... Just... Just... You know, she stares... Silent. Like a child. A little... A little sniffle... A bit of a whimper, and then outright bawling as she just, like, either teleports or runs from the room. And then, you And know then, <laughs> when you see her later, and she's pissed off and, like, trying to fucking wrench friggin' Mia's arm out of her socket. Huh. Well, it did leave the bombs there. Okay. Did it? It, d- it did, but it left me these again. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're gonna get the bombs when you get, when you become Ethan. Alright. Oh wait, no, you get the bombs that she picks up now. So yeah, you don't get to have the stuff in the fucking thing. Boo. But anyway, fuck you. Okay. What was I talking about? Yeah, yeah, then yeah. when she's trying to fucking wrench goddamn Mia's arm out of her socket, then... You know... It, it makes sense. It's like... She had, she had her moment of... Of sadness, despair... And then anger. But no, she's just gonna be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rather than being <laughs> You're like not my mommy anymore. <laughs> rather than being a child, she's Nelson from The Simpsons. <laughs> Psycho Mentats. <laughs> oh god damn it, dude! Wait, is it? Because there's a drug called Psycho in friggin' Fallout. Yep, and there's Can also... Can you do that? Can you combine Psycho and Mentats? Fuck, I don't remember. Do they call it Psycho Mentats? <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Where has this gun been all my life? <laughs> Game plus. Yeah. That's where that fucking lockpick is. <laughs> we never unlocked that case the first time around. Can I? It's a bobblehead. Uh, I can't. Remember. What case? The case with the the gun. There was a there was a door or a door. There was a chest that we never had lockpicked. It's in the same room as the laptop, and I had oh. never found the lockpick in this area before. I guess that's where it was. You did it. Yay. Let's go do that. You sound like a depressed Chewbacca. (laughs) (laughs) Chewbacca, I'm afraid uh, that you're no longer in this movie. They, uh, it turns out you were killed off in the extended universe. (laughs) <laughs> it's okay, we've got a... It's an antique coin. Yep. It's, a... <laughs> it's okay, Chewbacca, you know, we've got you, we've got you some other jobs lined up. You can, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, you know, we've... you could be the... Up... You could be the carpet in the upcoming... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I know it's not the greatest job, man, but... It'll hold you up until uh, we get you something good. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> so it's all looking up for you, man. <laughs> Actually, shit. Oh, they apparently call it Psycho Tats. Psycho Tats. Eh, it's close. Uh, but not, not nearly as funny as... <laughs> uh, it makes more sense as a name, but yeah. Psycho Tats. 
I mean, they had tattoos in that game, like, and it looks like, you know, a particular kind of needle. Do you think, like, you can just get some psycho tats? <laughs> tats? 